All right. Happy day four of love in reading class. That was the beginning of your song of the day. So today in reading class, we are going to be continuing to look at what friendship, family, crushes, and kissing looks like in love. So let's begin to see what we have today. In reading class today, you have three assignments. As always, your first assignment is the warm-up. And you can find that on Google Classroom. Let's take a look. Today, your song is Kiss by Prince, and you heard a little bit of that at the beginning of the video. You are going to fill in the blanks to what you hear in the song. This one is a little bit different. You're going to start here at a, uh, and you're going to go all the way down to rule my mm, and then you're going to go back up to Ain't No Particular, and then all the way down. After you fill in the blanks, you're going to answer three questions about the song. The first one is, who do you think Prince is singing to? Do you think that Prince respects the person he is singing to? And what is your evidence of why or why not? What does he say in the song? So when you answer that, you're going to want to put some quotes from the song lyrics that have evidence. And then, based on today's song, what do you predict will happen to Gabby in the book? So I chose a song that connects to Gabby, A Girl in Pieces, and I want you to predict what is going to happen based on this song and what it's about. Your brain stretch today, you are going to be reading this quote. You might be like, hmm, I've read that before. And this comes from the article that we read by Bell Hooks. The quote says, when we feel emotionally connected to someone, we cathect with them. That is, we invest feelings or emotion in that person. That process of investing feelings or emotions in a person is called cathexis. Most of us confuse cathecting with loving. In this space here, you are going to rewrite the quote in your own words. That means you're going to keep the same ideas, but you're going to use different words. So instead of saying emotionally connected with someone, I might say, when a person feels close to another person with their feelings, right? And you can use the word cathect and cathexis because those are new words, so that's okay, you can use those, but otherwise, I want you to rewrite this, keep the same ideas, not your own ideas, and just rewrite it in different words, All right? This is called paraphrasing, All right? Then the two questions about the quote, the first one is, what is the difference between cathexis and love based on this? So how are they similar and how are they different? And then what is an example or who is an example of someone who you cathect with? So, right, cathect means to feel emotionally connected. And then who is someone that you love? And what are those different feelings that you have for the person that you cathect with and the person that you love? Once you finish that, please turn in. All right, let's go back. Your second assignment today is to participate in the read aloud of Gabby, A Girl in Pieces at 5 p.m. today. And you will find the Zoom link for that on the website here. So you'll click here at 5 p.m. I will also email you at about 4.45 with the link. Now, some of you were asking, Do you get a grade for participating in 
the read aloud of Gabby Agron pieces? And the answer is yes. The read aloud on Zoom at 5 p.m. today is part of your Zoom grade. And by Zoom grade, I mean your grade and reading class. So yes, please participate. We will be reading part four of Gabby Agron pieces and we will all share reading just like we used to do in a circle in my class. All right. The other part of your homework today is the read and respond, Gabby part four, and that is also in Google Classroom. Let's take a look. So at the top, you can read Gabby part four. You can either read it on the computer by clicking this link, or you can read it in the book. It is pages 46 to 58. And you can listen to it by clicking this link. After you read it, what we're going to be doing today is identifying different types of love and love ingredients in part four. In this section of Gabby A Girl Pieces, there are many different types of love and love ingredients. Below are different quotes from the book. You need to identify the type of love. Is it self-love, right? The love that you have for your own person. Friend love family love, or romantic love. And you need to identify the love ingredient and explain why the quote demonstrates that love ingredient. So the love ingredients are care, affection, recognition, respect, commitment, trust, honesty, and open communication. In a quote, sometimes you might see two love ingredients or maybe even three, and you can write about that. So I have an example for you here. The part of the book is from the diary entry, September 29th, where Gabby says, but since my dad's an addict, I don't do any stuff like smoke weed. It would kill my mom, kill her. And in order to understand that, I might want to go back to the book and find exactly where on September 29th, Gabby says this. So I go back to look to kind of understand what she's talking about. And the type of love I identified is family love because she's talking about the love between Gabby and her mom. The love ingredient that I identified is commitment. And I think that this quote demonstrates commitment because I say here, and I'll, I use this sentence starter, this demonstrates commitment because Gabby is prioritizing, meaning putting first, her mom and her mom's needs before her own desires, which shows that she is committed to her mom. You're going to now do some on your own. The next quote is also on September 29th when Gabby says, I swear to be happy in my skin. And I'm going to look for that, and I found that right here. To be happy in my own skin. And I'm going to think to myself, who, what type of love is it? Is it self-love, Gabby loving herself, friend love, family love, romantic love? Okay. And so I'm going to write here what type of love it is, and who is it between? If it's self-love, then it's between Gabby and herself. Then you're going to identify the love ingredient. So if someone is saying that they're happy in their own skin, that they like their body, then what ingredient is it here? I'm thinking it could be a couple of them. And then you're going to explain why is it that love ingredient. You're going to do that for these different quotes. And then if you're feeling motivated, the challenge is to find your own example of love from parts one, two, or three and write it here. Because I just chose parts from part four. But you can find different examples of love and quotes from other parts of the book for your challenge. All right.
And that is it. Once you finish this, press turn in. Let's review. Today, you're going to start with the warm up on Google Classroom. Then at 5 p.m., everyone is going to join me to read aloud Gabby, A Girl in Pieces. It's okay if you don't have the book. You can also do it on your computer. The Zoom link is on our website here, and I will also email it to you beforehand. And then read and respond Gabby part four, which is also on Google Classroom. When you join the read aloud, you will be doing your reading for the day. If you have any questions and you're not sure what to do, you can click here, Miss Allie's Office Hours Zoom link, and join me from 2 to 3 to ask any questions. But you can always text me or call me if you have questions too. All right, I look forward to seeing all of you today at 5 p.m. Bye.